What is up, YouTube? How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. Well, hope everybody had a great weekend. And just in general, doing great this new year. I'm doing pretty good. Just finished school, feeling good. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for my diploma now. So I appreciate everybody sticking with me and and dealing with my crappy videos uh, while I was finishing school and trying to focus on that. So my last live that I did, I, my giveaway that wasn't claimed, uh, I teased a knife that I got from George Bushcraft. Now, yes, technically I got this knife last year, but since I'm doing the review on it right now, uh, it's going to be uh, considered a 2024 knife. But when I was at Georgia Bushcraft, I met this person, and they're an excellent knife maker. They told me their story, and I was just like, holy crap, this is awesome. But we got to talking, and, you know, I was like, it doesn't matter. You can make the best knife in the world, cost $10,000. I mean, just the most beautiful piece of art you've ever seen. But if you put a crappy sheath with it, then, you know, it doesn't really matter then, it does it? Because, you know, to me, a sheath can make or break a knife. Now, I know that's not the deciding factor, but, you know, if it's a crappy sheath, I won't carry it. I don't care what how, how much it costs, what it looks like, what it is. If it's a sheath that I don't like, I won't buy it. Well, this person was like, they told me their story, and they started out in leather working. And then they went into metal for forming, metal forging, and started making knives. But that's not really the cool part about this whole deal. The cool part about this whole deal is that a female made this knife and the sheath. Uh, it's her company's called Warlander Enterprises, Knives and Leather Goods, Amy Valerius. Solid name, Valerius. I love it. Uh, I mean... She was an awesome lady. I really enjoyed talking to her, and, you know, she's, she's generally a good person. Uh, I went over to her table, and I was like, oh, I love everything. It's hard to see, but there's a little bit of some of the stuff she makes. But the reason she named it Warlander is she looked like she was an equestrian type of lady. Uh, you know, lady rides horses. Um, and uh, a warlander is a very rare breed of horse. And apparently that's what she likes and that's what she named her company, Warlander Enterprises. It was, she was freaking awesome. I wish you all could have went and met her, but there's some of her knives she makes too. I mean, really good products. Now, this particular knife, this is the Muskox. Uh, the model number is a, or model name is a Muskox. Uh, it's a hundred and forty thousandths thick, so it's pretty thick on the spine. It's made of ten eighty four steel. The handle is SFT OD Green Canvas Micarta. Boy, isn't that a handsome knife? Look at that. So like I say, it's a OD Green Canvas Micarta. I mean, just, oh my gosh. I love this knife. This is going to be a, a I'm going to find it hard not to carry this thing all the time you know what I mean uh, but yeah uh, 
so let's go it's got a black liner inside the my card in the handle and then it's got a yellow stripe liner it's using loveless bolts which look really good the blade is four and an eighth inch long it's a flat grind it's spalted which means acid etched overall length is nine inches and this knife was born on October 23rd of 2023. October of 2023, excuse me. There wasn't a specific day on there, but man. So this is a, a bushcrafting knife, more, more or less. Good 90 degree uh, spine on it so you can get a good... Uh, spark off of your ferrule rod you know so you can get a good one I like how she uh, put the name on the spine Warlander just a really beautiful bush crafting knife I am going to carry this thing for a long time. Being 1084, yes, it's going to be highly uh, uh, it can rust easy. Let me put it that way. Susceptible to rusting. But the more that you mess with it and, and everything, it should not rust as long as you stay on top of it. You know what I mean? And I find by using it a lot, it won't rust as fast because you're paying it more attention. You know what I mean? But if I store this knife, I'm, I, obviously I'm going to put a coat of oil on it before I store it. And I won't store it in a leather sheath because the leather sheath will pull the oil off the knife. Makes sense? Well, so Amy had an awesome story. She was an awesome lady. Uh, she makes some great products. And I, I feel like people like this really need to get uh, a head up in life because they have such talent like this and they're not, you know, recognized for it. Now, she makes a pretty knife. Is it sharp? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, you can't get no better than that. Well, I guess you could, but holy crap. Amy's got it going on. Warlander Enterprises. Y'all look her up and uh, you know, send her an email. Her email was at the bottom of the card um tell her you know you heard about her from me uh, that she was at georgia bushcraft and you think that she makes some nice knives now i'm not gonna say how much this knife was um she gave me a deal on it so you know they are a little pricey but Anything you have handmade is going to be pricey. And this is a legit handmade knife from tip to tail. And you're going to pay for it. But yeah, she's, she's awesome. She'll, uh, she's got all kinds of knives and different price ranges. And she's probably got something that'll fit in your price range. Um, but like I say, give her a shout. She'd love that. She's an awesome person. Now, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. 
But do me a favor, stab that like button, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, but it only takes a second of your time. And if you're subscribed to me, you can get in on some of the giveaways that I, I do. Uh, I highly ask that you are subscribed to me to, uh, to get in on the giveaways. But like I say, if you're new to the channel, I like to do a, a paracord test. I do a push through first and then I do a slice. Push through is pretty good. Now I will tell you my wrist is real bad right now. If you're a regular viewer, you know I've got a torn ligament in my wrist and it's really sore right now. So that was pretty easy for that to go through like that. How's the slice? Oh yeah, slice, beautiful. Man, it's just a really awesome knife. It's ergonomic, fits my hand good. Uh, it feels good in the hand, it feels quality. You know what I mean? This is a knife that I could use and abuse for the rest of my life and it'll be in great shape after I'm in bad shape. You know what I mean? But if you're new to my channel, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, there, I'm doing a giveaway Wednesday. Subscribe. There's going to be a link to the video in the left-hand corner right here at the end. Just hit that link. Go comment on the video and subscribe. And you're entered in on the giveaway. I am giving away... A buck seven, uh, 379 solo and a buck 382 trapper that comes in a, uh, a gift box tin, but I had it, the trapper engraved with CB Tactical. You also get a CB Tactical sticker. I've also put one on the lid of the tin. And these just came in yesterday. And you will also get a CB Tactical keychain. I appreciate all of you. I really do. Uh, this has been a wonderful journey on YouTube. It's been awesome trying to make, or not trying, making friends on YouTube and great acquaintances. And I've enjoyed talking to all y'all. I've enjoyed this whole journey. And so I try to give back as much as y'all give me. Let me know what you think in the comments field below about the mus musk ox. I think this is an awesome knife. Um, you know, and if you're into the bush crafting scene and all that, this is definitely a knife that you would appreciate having on your hip. I hope I see all of you Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Uh, January 10th at 6 p.m. I'm doing the live giveaway. Stop by, say hey, chit chat. Let's have a good time. And we'll see you then. As I always say, I hope your belly's full. I hope your refrigerator's full. And for the love of everything, I hope your gas tank's full. And we'll see you next time.